The next test we're going to do is a diffusion capacity. So what you're going to do for me is breathe normally for a couple of breaths in, out, in, out. And then I'll say to you during the out breath to blow it all out. What I want you to do is fully exhale. <sighs> Squeeze all the air out. And then I'll say to you, take a deep breath in. You fill up maximally all the way. You're going to hold your breath for 10 seconds. I'll count off the time. And then what you're going to do is when I tell you to blow it all out. Okay, so what we're going to do is fill this large bag, the Inspirit bag, with a, med uh, with a gas mixture of 21% oxygen, room air, like we're breathing, 10% helium, and less than 1% of carbon monoxide, which is a real tracer gas. Um, and this test is, once we, once we get going with it, takes, it takes longer to analyze than it does to actually do the test. Okay, so now I'm ready. I'll just go over here. So we can leave the door open for this test. And we can also usually plug in uh, a patient's hemoglobin if it's available to us. We'll plug that into the equation. It just makes it more accurate. So oxygen carrying capacity is determined by your hemoglobin. I think we're ready. Okay, so Danielle, you can place your mouth on the mouthpiece. Clips around the nose, just breathe easy. Just gonna take a couple of easy resting breaths. We'll have, I'll have you do one more. Breathe in now, blow it all out, squeeze it out. Now, big breath in, quickly, 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 hold your breath. Good job, hold your breath, five, four, three, two, one, and blow it all out. Squeeze it all out. Nice job. Great. And that's that. We did a good job. You can disconnect and you can actually get out of the box if you'd like. So this test will take approximately two minutes to analyze. And then we'll, we would, re would repeat that again as well just to uh, uh, confirm what we got on the first test and to make sure that our, our numbers are accurate.